What's up, everyone? Welcome to our latest Hero Spotlight featuring Cece, the buoyant performer. Cece is a cheerful and radiant yo-yo artist who excels at kiting enemies. She relies on her great mobility to deliver high sustained damage to her awestruck foes. Buoyant performer, Cece. Passive. Performer's delight. As a gifted performer, Cece is always putting on a spectacular show. Her performances are sure to bring a smile to the audience, which in turn delights Cece. Cece generates delight after dealing damage, gaining movement speed and spell vamp for each attack. The movement speed and spell vamp bonuses are doubled at max stacks. First skill, Yo-Yo Blitz. Cece is always showing off her amazing yo-yo skills, especially to her enemies who can't seem to get enough. Cece launches a continuous string of attacks on the nearest enemy in range with her yo-yo, striking the target up to 10 times and dealing a set amount of damage plus a percentage of their max HP as physical damage with each hit. Cece can move freely and use other skills during this attack. Second skill, Buoyant Bounce. With acrobatic finesse, Cece prances around the battlefield as if skipping on the clouds. Cece leaps to a target location. If she lands on any non-structure unit, she can perform another leap in the target direction. If she hits an enemy unit with the first leap, she will deal physical damage. Ultimate Curtain Call. Every great show must have a grand finale. At Curtain Call, Cece likes to personally usher out her enemies. Cece throws Yo-Yo at the target enemy hero and links them to the nearest enemy hero within a certain distance for a set duration. During this time, Cece's first skill will hit both targets at the same time. If only one target is in the range of her first skill, Cece will hit the target in range twice per attack instead. In the laning phase, use Cece's basic attacks to stack some delight before using her first skill on the opponent, and use her second skill if they attempt to escape. In team fights, find two enemy heroes that are close together and toss Cece's ultimate on one of them. Then use her second skill to jump in and pop her first skill mid-leap to start dealing continuous damage. Cece is great at kiting enemies and excels in prolonged battles, but she lacks burst damage. At level 1, upgrade Cece's first skill and continue to prioritize upgrading it as her main source of damage. Cece is able to move and use skills during her first skill to effortlessly kite targets. When Cece is at full stacks of delight, use basic attacks on any enemy unit to maintain the stacks and the high movement speed and spell vamp bonuses. We recommend the Fighter Emblem with the Agility, Festival of Blood, and Brave Smite talents for CC. In this emblem setup, Agility provides even more movement speed for CC to dance around her opponents, and the combination of Festival of Blood and Brave Smite give her more spell vamp and HP recovery to stay alive in lengthy battles. For Cece's build, we recommend War Axe and Hunter Strike as her core equipment. The former lets her stack physical attack during sustained combat, while the latter provides a quick burst of mobility. Grab Brute Force Breastplate to improve Cece's survivability and mobility, and Malefic Roar in the late game for some much-needed physical penetration. Another recommended build for CC is War Axe plus full tank equipment for maximum survivability. For the second build, we recommend this emblem setup to focus on survivability, with Brave Smite restoring HP based on CC's max HP. We recommend the Sprint Battle Spell for CC to take her kiting to the next level. The long speed boost fits perfectly with CC's fighting style. Kill. 
CC can also take vengeance to get the upper hand in fights while laning and quickly snowball into a significant lead. Because of CC's great kiting ability and her first skill dealing max HP damage, CC counters certain tanks like Fredrin and Minotaur. Legendary. CC is countered by heroes with targeted CC skills who can stop her dead in her tracks, such as Saber and Kaja. CC works well with heroes that have buffs and can boost survivability. Supports like Angela and Florin can help CC gain an early advantage by greatly amplifying her combat capabilities to end the game before it drags on too long. In the early game, rely on CC's kiting with timely use of her second skill and passive to skip circles around the opponent. After completing CC's build in the late game, the cooldown of her first skill will be very short and she becomes a great split pusher who can use her speed to join the teamfight midway to finish off weakened enemies. Come join the fun with CC. And until next time, we'll be seeing you in the Land of Dawn.